So if you are watching this video, you probably have a similar gauge to this one and your air conditioning uh, uh, pressure is jumping up and down just like mine was and I'm going to show it in a second but first I would like to say that uh, I'm not a professional mechanic I just do it for myself so uh, do it at your own risk I found this gauge in my pile of junk and decided to uh, check uh, air conditioning pressure in my car and it was very low, way too low at about 15 so I bought this small can of refrigerant at 12 ounces. I figured it's going to be just about enough to fill it up all the way up, but not overfill since uh, the pressure was so low. Um, but to my surprise, after I filled it up, uh, the pressure has not changed at all. It was just about at uh, 15, 16. Uh, but um, it was still working, the air conditioning was still working, so I kind of disregarded it. And the next morning it was still working just fine. But in afternoon, when the uh, outside temperature reached about 85 degrees, uh, the air conditioning stopped working and uh, started blowing warm air. So I hooked up the gauge again, and that's what I saw. So I figured since uh, it works when it's cooler outside and does not work when it's warm outside, the uh, gas is expanding inside the compressor and uh, creating overfill condition. So I decided to take some pressure out by connecting the same hose I used it to fill it in with, uh, but this time I used it without a can, uh, but before I hooked it up uh, I closed the vent all the way so the pointy thing comes out so that way nothing comes out when I hook it up and then slowly a uh, little by little uh, let the pressure out and uh, word of caution when gas come out it's going to be freezing cold and it's going to burn your hand so use gloves and glasses if it gets in your eye you go blind if you have one of these it's even better this one has a trigger on it so you can use it with one hand more easily so I took some pressure out, unfortunately I couldn't record it because I need to use both hands for that. And, um, but the first thing you get, the first clue you get uh, that it's working, if you touch that pipe and it's cold to the touch and it starts sweating, uh, that means AC is working now. As you can see here, the pressure has stabilized at about 25, but as soon as I cranked up my air conditioning to the full blast, we're back to square one. So I let some more pressure out, a few seconds at a time until the pressure stabilized again at the full blast of air conditioning. And now it's uh, stable. As you can see the pressure has stabilized at about 20 psi which is even lower than before and according to this the pressure gauge is, is way too low. But if you add just a little bit more it just goes overboard. I'm not sure if this is a bad pressure sensor or there is something else going on in my air, air conditioning unit but it works for now and uh, I'm happy so if you found this video helpful click the like button and please be careful when you do it yourself it could be dangerous thank you